For more Bollywood gossip, hit the bell icon and never miss a video. Salman Khan wants Katrina to be a part of his upcoming The Bank tour, but she cannot be a part in it. And why? That is because of her prior commitments and also her commitments with Karan Johar's dream tour. Oh, Salman would sure miss his protege who has been taking care so well ever since Kat rushed to him after her big breakup with her ex beau Ranbir Kapoor. Things have moved on but Salman continues to protect and mentor Kat and that is the reason wishes her to be a part of the tour. Remember when Salman did not allow Ulia Bantur to be a part of one of his tours once and now he wishes one of the girls in his life Katrina to be a part of it says a lot about his feelings for her Hena what do you say do you feel Salman's tour is incomplete without Kat do let us know by commenting in the section below <laughs> A lot is being said about Salman Khan being awkward while hugging Sana Khan and it seems that now the diva has really lost her cool. It so happened that when Sana saw Salman at the red carpet, she went ahead to meet Salman. While hugging, we can clearly see how Salman has his fist tightly clenched. So was it because of Sana's backless dress? Some say that Salman was just feeling shy while others believe that he was being a perfect gentleman. Finally Sana has responded to the million questions in her own style. The actress said that it would be best if this question was put to Salman Khan. She also said that it was not being shy as Salman has already seen a lot more than that and seeing a backless actress would definitely not be new to him. Sana also revealed that Salman had praised her for losing weight. Well, awkward or shy, we can never be sure, but we would love to know your take on this. So drop in your comments in the section below and stay tuned for more updates on this hot story. Dabang Khan is never short of work and there is a long list of films waiting to be shot with the bhai. Presently the bhai is shooting for Tiger Zinda hai which is a sequel to his spy thriller Ek Tha Tiger and now he has two more sequels lined up. One is Dabang 3 and the other is Wanted 2. Salman had chosen Prabhu Deva to direct one of these and when the choreographer turned director was asked to choose he opted for Tabang 3. Well so now who would be directing Wanted 2? Sources reveal that filmmaker Ali Abbas Zafar may be pitched in for this film and if this happens then it will be the third collaboration beginning with Sultan Then Tiger Zinda hai and finally wanted to. Now this is some really happening news and we are glad to see Bhai's plate full of work. What about you? Do let us know by commenting in the section below. We do know that Salman and Katrina share a special bond and we also saw how she got back to Sallu after her breakup with Ranbir Kapoor. Yes and now Kat says it is difficult for her to explain the bond that she feels with Salman and also says how they blend well in all respects. We would see the two together again as raw agents in the upcoming Tiger Zinda hai which is a sequel to the earlier flick Ek Tha Tiger.
Well, for starters, we are indeed keen to see the jury again back in action, but would also like to know what they feel for each other. Now, with Kat saying it is hard to explain, we are finding it hard to accept as we would like to hear more about the chemistry that the two are seen sharing often. What do you feel about their relation? Do let us know by commenting in the section below. We all know that Colors usually entertains us with India's Got Talent and Chalak the Glacha before the controversial reality show Big Boss commences, but this time on it will be the other way around and the two shows have been put on the back burner while Big Boss 11 is gearing up to begin in September itself. And now it seems that Salman Khan has recommended the channel to rope in master entertainer Govinda for the 10th season of Chalak the Glacha. The suggestion struck a chord with the channel and they approached the hero number one to crack a deal. Wow, if this deal comes true then we will have the Raja Babu bringing back the gold old dance moves of the 90s. Exciting, isn't it? Do let us know by commenting in the section below. Amir, hi, towards your right. Towards my right? Yeah. Hi, Priyanka from Indian Express. Where, where, where is Priyanka? Ah, huh, okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, Amir, uh, a lot of people in the industry feel that right now you are the most bankable superstar among the three Khans uh, because uh, Shah Rukh has been struggling to get a huge success in box office and uh, even Salman's last film didn't do well. It was kind of a failure. And with Dangal breaking record at uh, Chinese box office as well, do you, feel, do you also feel that, that you are the most bankable superstar right now? See, uh, you know, you have to understand that creative work is, you know, very unpredictable. All of us try our best. Sometimes we succeed in what we are trying to do, sometimes we don't. So I don't think that one film, two films, is a stardom effect. I think that Salman and Shah Rukh are both huge stars. They're mega stars. Salman and Shah Rukh are both huge stars. They're mega stars. And uh, I myself am a fan of their work. And I don't really compare like this. I think each one is unique, each one is different. Yeah. Sanjay Dutt's love life has always been quite colourful and this incident took place when he was dating actress Tina Munim. Apparently, Tina's on-screen chemistry with Rishi Kapoor and their growing friendship off-screen disturbed Sanju Baba so much that he even thought of beating Rishi. He approached Gulshan Grover for this and together the two set out to teach Rishi a lesson. But things cooled down when Rishi's fiancé Neetu Singh convinced them that there was nothing brewing between the two and finally Sanjay believed her and Rishi was saved. Yet, Sanjay and Tina's love story didn't have a happy ending and the two parted ways. Tina is now the Bahu of the Ambani family and a known face in the corporate world, while Sanjay is still in films. Years later, Rishi's son Ranbir is gearing up to play Sanjay Dutt's role in his upcoming biopic and it will be interesting to see if this controversial chapter is touched or not. What do you think? Do let us know by commenting in the section below. Oh my god! Didn't we tell you that Big Boss season 11 is to begin soon and Salman would be hosting it? In fact, he has just shot his promotion for the show. But did you know that the contestants this time, which includes commoners too, would not be paid any money? Yes, this is indeed shocking and we as the public surely are going to have a different kind of entertainment this time. Well, we sure are eager to see this kind of interaction between the star contestants and the commoners. Hena. Well, for starters, there are going to be no incidents like that of Priyanka Chakka where one cannot badmouth anyone in the show. Big Boss is a reality show which has the common man on the streets experiencing the best of publicity on the show. Do let us know what do you feel about it. Fans were surprised when Salman and Aishwarya both showed up at the Big C Entertainment Awards. Ever since their breakup years ago, the two have avoided any form of contact, but now after years, the two were spotted attending the same event. Despite this, they didn't come face to face. Ash also bagged the Most Entertaining Actor Award for her performance in Sarabchi. Ash also skipped the red carpet in a bit to avoid any contact with Salman. Well, it seems that our hopes to see the two reconcile have clashed and the two are totally averse to seeing each other. 
sad, isn't it? So what are your thoughts on Aishwarya Rai Bachchan avoiding Salman Khan years after their breakup? Do let us know by commenting in the section below. Salman Khan Ventures is now a part of Amazon Prime with you and now we can see all his movies beginning with you flight. So after the theatrical release one can see Salman movies on Amazon Prime with you before it gets its satellite release. Amazon Prime Video has announced this and this worldwide content is a great deal with Salman Khan Ventures. Indeed, this is a phenomenal deal and now we can have the exclusive streaming of all future movies of Salman Khan. Pure Blind was the recent Salman Khan release and we did feel it could have done better. Maybe Amazon Prime Video would bring about a renewed interest in the flick. Salman Khan is getting ready with his upcoming Tiger Zinda Hai, which is a December release this year in 2017. We are sure excited to see it in Amazon Prime with you. The Big Z Entertainment Awards 2017 was indeed a night to remember. Power packed performances, awkward hugs, and a lot more. Well, one more thing made us raise our eyebrows. <laughs> Salman Khan and Aishwarya Rai Bachchan were both present at the duo. It is truly rare to see the two attend events together ever since their breakup years ago. The two have avoided all contact with each other, but now it seems that time has healed all the wounds and while Salman is supposedly dating Romanian beauty Ulya Bantur, Aishwarya is a proud mom of a little girl and a bahu of the Bachchan clan. Well, so does that mean that we may soon see the humble DJK Sanam couple pair on screen once more or do we have to be content with just seeing them in the same venue? We have already reported how the team of Tiger Zinda Hai had a grueling time shooting at Morocco and when this difficult schedule was complete, the team deserved a big celebration. And so filmmaker Ali Abbas Zafar and the entire team including Salman and Katrina had a special party. The tiger and his tigress seems to have had a blast as they enjoyed till the wee hours of the morning. Truly a much deserved break before they gear up for the last leg of shooting in Abu Dhabi. Slated to release in December this year, Tiger Zinda Hai speaks about the story of Tiger and Soya, the two spies from India and Pakistan draw. Yes, it's a sequel to the very famous spy thriller Ek Tha Tiger and will take the story forward from where the story of the two lovers ended. Now this is something we really look forward to. What about you?